beautiful family, but Gemma Kedd has suffered in secret with debilitating panic attacks for years. She joins me now, and you know what? It's, it's lovely to see you. Always great to see you. I had absolutely no idea that no. you suffered from this. Nobody did, did they? Well, I was very, very good at hiding it yeah. because I was so mortified. I was so embarrassed by having them that I just never told anyone, and, and I just sort of suffered in in silence mm. um, but I had them I've had them for like 15 years so when did it start when, when did you start it started in my late teens right. early 20s um, and I don't know if it was sort of the transition of sort of going through that leaving school and then not quite knowing what to do sure. um, then I when I became a makeup artist they, they subsided a little bit mm. but they were just so horrific I was just so scared every single day scared of having a panic or having anxiety or just and you just feel so alone because you think you're the only person going person through, it. through it but yeah. what's it like to actually have an attack what happens it's to you apps it's the most horrific experience in the world it's literally you have this um, adrenaline rush something that you would have if you were jumping out of a plane or about right. to have a car crash you know that sort of mm. rush of adrenaline yeah. and you I would have it just sitting on the sofa driving my car going to the supermarket and you your heart racing your you you get confused your your hands tingle you you think you're about to die you think you're about to faint you it's just the most horrific experience. Oh, I can't tell absolutely you. awful, and it happened even at work. You know, when you were working, oh, it happened all the time. As well. You know, doing makeup. I'd be backstage at a fashion show, and I'd be doing makeup, and I would just literally, I could feel my heart going and my hands sweating, and and I'd have to sort of try and calm down with a breathing, mm. and or just go and walk off and come back again. And but after a while, I got I got used to them. I thought it was just part of my life, right? And I didn't ever think that I could be sort of panic free mm. which I am now it's just like a whole new <laughs> way of living you which know. is fantastic I'm not that frightened anymore. yeah because it is living with that fear because I know yeah. you, were, you were at a dinner with, with, with the Queen was present yes. and, you, and you're sitting there on the chair thinking holding what on can I, what can I do because you can't leave <laughs> it was the, it was <laughs> a, it was such a privilege and honor to have to have supper with her and um, it was at, it was at a gala dinner but um, I literally instead of enjoying it I was just mm. sitting there my sort of white knuckles sitting I've got what happens where how can I get out of here what mm. happens if I have a heart attack what happens if I pass out on the floor and that was that I couldn't hear any conversation I couldn't enjoy the oh, evening because you're so concentrating on, on trying to yeah. keep things under control and, so how did you manage to sort it what happened well it was it was I had an amazing mentor in my life who, who was um, th co co through, she's called Cotty, and she, she really helped me um, mm. through it. But it wasn't until I met Charles Linden, who has the Linden Method. Right. And I went on a retreat for three days, and I did the method, and it really just brought me out and made me understand what anxiety and panic attacks are. Mm and not be frightened of them and I had to retrain my brain because they're actually habit forming because right. I thought it was a oh, mental okay. illness I thought I was sort of mentally ill I mm. thought I was going mad but it's not that at all it's a habit and you sort of you you know like for dry I drive down the motorway all the time and I and I stopped doing that when I had panic attacks mm. because I was so scared that um, I was gonna have one on yeah, the middle of the motorway exactly. you have an accident I knew every single exit on the M4 how right. to get off yeah. um, and he just was like no you can do it and you know listen to music or right. you know um, have you know have someone with you and chat or just you have what you have to do is you have to divert your mind so mm -hmm. instead of thinking panicky thoughts right. you basically just think of something else you know mm. as soon as I had a panicky thought I go right I've got to do something I've got okay, and let's sing really loud to this music I turn the music right. up really really loud and sing mm. um, and that really helps well, that makes sense I mean that makes perfect sense that's just common sense in a way isn't it yeah, absolutely and of course now you're very very happy I know you've got a beautiful yes. man and beautiful two man. gorgeous gorgeous kids <laughs> little, yes. little twins that you've got which are absolutely fantastic me and Arthur isn't it yes and what age are they now they're, they're 14 months oh they're absolutely gorgeous and Aww. are you I mean now because you've got such a settled life you're very very happy as that as well as the technique that you've used is that all together I think helped? absolutely and just keeping busy yeah. because when you have panic and anxiety you stop doing things because you're too frightened to do mm. them but see and that you've got to do the opposite you've got to keep busy keep doing things don't let it control you 
you know, you control it, you know, mm -hmm. and after a while it just subsides, you know, when you sort of ignore it because it, it, it can completely take control of you. And if you just go, no, I'm in control. That's good. Because I, I, I can I mean, do this. It's so common though, Gemma. It's so common. It's One so in ten common. they think, but actually it's probably more than that. I would think more than that. It to probably be is a, a lot yeah. more than that. And there is there is help. I mean, you're you're living proof of that that you can actually Absolutely. do it, and you don't have to suffer in silence. Because we've had a huge response from people saying. Thank you. I thought I was the only one, and people yes. look at you and think you're this golden girl. That it's Everyone all fine. Everyone thought my life you know was mean? perfect. Yes. And I said, you just have no idea. You don't know what's going on inside. This absolute fear. This sort of mm. fear every morning. You know, I'd be just frightened of everything. You know. And uh, it's, but now it's gone. And I know I it must be amazing. just like this weight has lifted off your oh, head. It's incredible, and, and it shows that you can actually beat it. You can do it. You absolutely can do it. And I'm living proof of that. And there's thousands of people out there that get rid of them and um, just make sure that you know you, you, you know do the method and, mm. and learn about them and don't be frightened of them and you can you know you, you can, can do it can get over thank them. you so so much for coming it's in it's great to see you always really good to Thanks. see you thank Love you, you too. and i'll tell you what if you want more details on panic attacks and, and what we've been talking about and how to cope do log on to the website itv.com slash lorraine loads and loads of information in there about what Gem Gemma was talking about now then, if you think your mum is the best in the world, now's your chance to give her a Mother's Day gift that she'll never forget. Craig Doyle has all the details.